everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and Sir Daily Card Reading for January 26th, 2022. AngelSouls444.com for personal readings. Angel Souls, no, I lied. <laughs> Gumroad.com slash Angel Souls for the Archangel Ariel Meditation Challenge. Archangel Ariel is all about prosperity and abundance and detoxing and nature. And of course, there are lots of other meditation challenges over there as well as other content about spirituality and angels and archangels. So let's see what we have for today. There's a huge breaking open. I'm telling you, we're going to keep having what I would describe as traumatic events. Part of that would be our shaky energy that we're throwing out into the collective, our fear, our pain, you know, all that's going out. And then it's like uh, manifesting in a story that's right in our face. I can't stress enough. And I'm right there with you guys. I come, I've shared with you guys, I've been very open and said I had a, an abusive past in ways you can't even imagine that ended up manifesting in very toxic, abusive relationships, even toxic, abusive work dynamics, you know, where I was the center of gossip and had my reputation ruined, my career was ruined. Like, you know, I've, I've had that, I've seen that. And it has been so much to come through, to work on myself. I'm not done, I'll always be working on myself, but to try to come to peace with that. And, um, you know, to, to remember that everybody has a perspective and, you know, I'm just carrying my perspective around, you know, that sort of thing. But what I'm getting at here by saying that is we have to not keep in the powerlessness of what has happened in the past. We have to start processing, healing, coming through so that we can approach things a little bit differently. And maybe that means we're not allowing toxic people in anymore. Maybe we start speaking up for ourselves. You know, there's only so much that I can complain about from a past because, um, you know, there were times I tried to speak up, but then I was just kind of like patted on the head and called sassy and not taken seriously <laughs> or punished, punished for speaking up. But, you know, I chose to stay in the dynamics that I was in. And yes, when you're in an abusive situation, it is kind of hard to release yourself from that. But, uh, and I eventually I did, but you know, it was, it was a journey. So respecting your journey, but making sure you're not just going back into the anger and the resentment. And, um, for some of you pulling on maybe an ex, let's say that, you know, darn well was not meant to be in your life long term, but maybe you're feeling lonely. And so you're trying to pull on that ex. Well, and then there's this. Okay, I act like I know things all the time, right? But here we go. Four of Raphael, seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So, okay, that's what we were tapping into right there. But this is also an opportunity coming or a piece of information coming that might help put things to rest. Again, this whole idea of clearing the air, it's really imperative that we start cleaning up our energy. And it seems like they're really focusing on dynamics between people. So even if you do have a clear in the air conversation, you may walk away from that other person and be like, what did I ever see in that person? Or, okay, I'm glad we cleared that up, but I'm very clear I don't want you in my life anymore. Or you might clear the air and realize, whoa, 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 whoa. I was completely misinformed. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. you didn't, I, cause I didn't, what do you mean you, what, huh? You know, <laughs> so you might get some clarity around something, but. This could be, again, she's kind of got her head down. She's kind of wallowing a little bit here. And we will miss new opportunities to express in a new way, maybe with other people, maybe in a revised dynamic, right? So some of you who are married, maybe you are working on that dynamic. Or, you know, if you have, you know, a shaky relationship with children or, you know, whatever, you know, you're able to at least try to be more open-minded and see the other person's side of the story. I get the sense here, I'm picking up on somebody who is, they know they've done wrong and they don't even know where to begin to start making amends. And so their pride has gotten in the way and they've stayed quiet. That is not going to work anymore. It's not going to work. It's going to start just kicking back on you times 10 and it's going to start manifesting quite possibly in a physical way, we see that, you know, where it starts to manifest as illness or, you know, a lot of shakeups. I'm hearing a lot of shakeups. So people trying to stick with the old way because they're hiding from a dynamic or, you know, whatever, hiding from trouble or <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know, it's going to be different for everybody. Um, but it's going to come to the surface. 
So this is that kind of thing where we have seen where instead of somebody, when they know they've made a mistake, going back and making amends, right? We all do this. We, our pride will get in the way and we don't say we're sorry or whatever. Um, but we've seen in bigger examples how when that person repeatedly does bad things and doesn't apologize or doesn't make amends or doesn't change their ways, what happens? Disgrace. A fall from grace. Their whole life crumbles. We've seen it. We, we see it all the time. And there will be more examples of that. This has this energy of we kind of need to stick together. But we have such a far way to go before we can understand each other in order to do that. And that's what this whole dynamic is talking about here. It's talking about be, be aware of your shortcomings, you know. I knew I was... Because of my past, I was very distrusting of people. I was very afraid. Uh, I would put really high walls up and I don't want to hear about what you know. You're not going to fool me. I'm moving on. <laughs> and that's it. And so I was not very open-minded to what other people had to say. And it was a protection thing, an understandable protection thing. If people knew my whole story, you would understand why I um, had my walls up but, um, or why I wanted to work from home and the safety of my home because, you know, I just had some really bad experiences. But it's time at some point to look at why did that happen? Okay, understanding the pain, understanding um, what I'm still connected to, right? And letting that go. So that was a process for me. I'm sure a lot of you have probably gone through that as well. So there's a continuation of this so that we can have that emotional reset. We can have that more harmonious connection with others, as we've said, and be able to create a life we really want. And to do that with others, with the joy of connection. All right? So we're going to leave that there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.